welcome to uh, this next episode. I think it's episode four of My Narrow About Life, which I can't quite believe we're at episode four already. It's crazy. I'm just enjoying some uh, lovely morning sunshine coming in because it's been really, really cold recently. And uh, we definitely transitioned over into winter, I feel like. Um, I don't know if it's officially winter, but uh, it feels like it. Uh, but this is the last sort of bit of that sort of autumn sunshine. And I just want to soak it up before I get on with my day. Um, thanks, as ever, to everybody that's been supporting the channel. It's really starting to grow now. Uh, and, yeah, hopefully you've been enjoying the Q&A sessions. If you haven't, I'll put a link up to them now. And Because they're kind of a different type of video, really, more of a sit-down kind of thing rather than these videos which are just sort of sharing my daily experiences and at the moment I'm looking out over the sun and there's still a little bit of mist over the, uh, the the field opposite me and it's quite enjoyable actually I'll show it to you. favorite things early in the morning is when it's really cold and I've just uh, to set up my fire and that first warm glow on my face of the heat of the fire and the cold of the boat is uh, nothing quite like it really yeah it's quite a magical feeling so uh, I'm just gonna sit here and drink a cup of tea and enjoy this for a little bit Okay, a uh, slightly different task this morning is uh, I've noticed that the water level has been rising uh, quite rapidly on the Thames because of all the rain we've been having recently. Obviously it's not raining now, it's a lovely sunny day. This is the perfect time to do it. So I've decided I've got a couple of scaffolding poles and I'm gonna knock them into the ground um, on the actual bank to try and help if the water levels get so high that there's a risk that my boat might effectively float over onto the bank. So I just finished doing the scaffold poles and they look good now, hopefully they'll work. Uh, but I also noticed something else, that because of all the rain, uh, Keith, my canoe, has filled up with quite a considerable amount of water. More water probably than is worth trying to bail out because that will take absolutely ages. So I'm going to attempt to uh, beach it and tip it over, so this could be interesting. <laughs> So I've uh, woken up to an absolutely beautiful morning and uh, unfortunately, although it is sunny, it's still cold. Um, so I'm gonna cut some wood, get the fire on and then get on with my day, cool. I'm uh, on another trip to my friend Sarah's boat to do some more recording, so I thought I'd canoe there. It's a lovely morning. Yeah, we're going to record some more of our next EP. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoy.
morning, Sarah. Good morning, you babe. okay? Just look, I need to bail. Yeah, I've just been bailing as well. A lot of bailing going on. I made friends with the swan as well. No, no, I think it thought I had food and then just got really annoyed that I didn't have any food in my life, basically. I've got some, away. I bought my other guitar today so we can try that new tuning. Oh, great. Ooh. So I thought I'd share with you another one of those random things that you have to do when you live far from your vehicle. I'm currently carrying a chair down the towpath uh, and probably look quite ridiculous. So around this time of year, the river tends to get a bit more swollen uh, with water because of all the rain than normal. And sometimes it's quite difficult to tell that there's a difference. It still looks calm on the surface, but when you'll notice it is when there's actually um, something actually floating in the water and you'll notice how quickly it whizzes past your boat. Uh, but then there are certain areas of the river where it's really obvious that there's a lot more water um, coming through. One of them is the weir, and I'll show you a bit of that now. Some of you may remember from a previous video that I made where I used the oven part of my stove to uh, dry off some shoes. That's not the only thing I use my oven for. Sometimes I use it for cooking. The place it is in the stove is actually below the main firebox and uses some sort of interesting kind of convection to bring the heat down. You can actually use it for drying out wood. Hey guys, uh, welcome to the outro part of the vlog, which is the bit I guess where I kind of sum up everything that's kind of gone on during the video. And uh, so what we had this time, it's been kind of stuff about, I guess, the fact that the river's rising and uh, the changes that I've had to make to kind of adjust to that, I guess, a little bit. And that's something I guess that's gonna to continue to rise. There's some other things that I need to do about that. Like I need to, I think I need to get some fishermen's waders that's been recommended because I guess it's going to get that hectic here. So uh, yeah, I'll get some of them. Um, obviously I did the thing where I was emptying out the canoe and my usual musical endeavors and things like that. And I took a little trip down to the weir as well, and showed you guys that, which was, I hope you guys enjoyed that too. But during the making of this video, I've been having a think about these sort of vlog videos in general. And I think at the end of the last one, some of you remember I mentioned that I was considering approaching this in different ways so I was going to try some different ideas and so I think the next video after this one will be probably another Q&A but then the following video which would normally have been one of these kind of vlogs which is basically a kind of I guess a montage of just little snippets of things that have been going on during my life in that period of time whereas I think the next video I'm going to make I'm going to try something a little bit different I hope you guys are on board with this and I'm going to basically um, do a video all about just one subject and the subject I've chosen for the first one is just literally 
how I keep warm on the boat during winter. And I know obviously I've touched on things like the fire, but basically I'm going to go through every single little trick that I have um, for keeping warm on the boat and everything that is involved in that. And all my thought process, I guess, is about keeping warm. And uh, yeah, hopefully you guys will get something from that. Uh, let me know in the comments, as always, uh, what you think of this idea. And if you have any ideas of like a, a video that will just be, I guess, on one subject. And uh, if you can suggest a subject, I'll see if I can do that uh, for you guys. Cool. Remember to check out the other videos on the channel. And if you are watching this video and you haven't already liked and subscribed it, please subscribe. Uh, because that really helps the channel grow and still over half of the people watching the videos aren't actually subscribed to the channel and uh, as I said I think in a previous video it really helps the channel grow if you can actually subscribe uh, because once you get past a certain amount of subscribers uh, YouTube opens up sort of new options for you as a YouTuber so uh, that'd be great if you guys could help me get to that I think the main one that I'm aiming for at the moment is a thousand subscribers because once you get past that it allows you to do extra things which would be cool um, so yeah, cool. Uh, uh, thanks for watching, as always, guys. And I'll see you on the next video. And uh, yeah, tell your mates. Cheers. Bye-bye.